All right, I want this animation from Blender into this video editor, and I want this animation to have a transparent background. If I render this just with a default, I don't know, let's say FMPEG video with just, let's keep the defaults and let's render it. Here we go. All right, here we go. Let's wait a little. But as you can see, there is no transparency. Okay, so here's a file. Here's a video editor. Let's drag it in. And of course it doesn't work. The background is gray. Okay, so first things first, in Blender, go to the render properties, go to film and enable transparent. Okay, let's try to render it again. This looks better, doesn't it? Well, let's go check. I think it just overwrote the file. Yeah, let's see, does Olive update? Yeah, it updates. We have a black background, not what we wanted. Why is that? Because in the output properties, we can see there's BW, black and white, and RGB, red, green, blue. But what we need is RGBA. Let me just extend this a little so we can see better. Basically, you have to find a format which supports alpha or transparency in video. So open up encoding and for compatibility, I recommend you go to QuickTime. This is MOV, file format. And for video codec, simply go for QT animation. That's it. Now you have RGBA here available. Click it. Simply render now. Of course, you can take a look at these settings, check out the bitrate, maybe you need something bigger, etc, etc. Take a look. But for now, let's just wait for this to finish. We will have a MOV file this time instead of MKV, which is the default otherwise. And it should work just fine, I hope. Okay, here is Olive. Here is the MOV file. Let's drag it in. And let's drag it in again. There it is background with video. There you have it. This is the fail attempt. This is the successful attempt. This is how you do it. I hope this was useful. Give this video a like if it was. Subscribe if you want to support this channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, ciao!